is the last of the videos from the Florida trip. I debated long and hard on whether or not I was going to post this video or not, simply because of things that happened with the person I was detecting with after the fact. Things that I just found to not be aligned with what my channel is about. That being said, I decided to air the video in its entirety as there is nothing in this video that is particularly offensive other than maybe the fact that my detecting equipment was criticized for being less than adequate, but in fact it was, so I can't really be mad about that. Uh, I will be making a comment as to why I do not have anything to do with the person in the video anymore. Uh, I'm brutally honest and I'm sorry, but I believe that after you have all the facts, you will understand why I did not put this video out in the order it should have been. That being said, I did have fun doing some metal detecting and so I hope you enjoy this show. Thanks for listening. If you can see it, but our first beach target is a big old aluminum aluminum pan. What you see right there is the moon and the reflection of the moon on the water. The smaller spot is the reflection of the moon on the water. Uh, no, I am not out here by myself. It may appear that I am, but not very far down the beach from me. Vermont Derrick is detecting. So I'm under a watchful eye. Thus far, all I have found is a beer can. But hey, it was a beer can. It's dark and so I'm treading very carefully. I do have a headlamp, but I had to make a little stop here to uh, rest. I, the, it's very hard to walk in the sand. I'm learning very quickly. I can't motor very far. <laughs> but we'll persevere. I have gained a whole new respect for the beach detectors. Uh, it's hard work. <laughs> and because I'm just learning this detector I'm not really sure what signals I'm supposed to be looking for I know what they are on dry land south Georgia soil but the beach is a whole different creature and it's a big learning curve so it is tough I don't know if you can see it with this camera, but right in the middle of that big strip of clouds is the moon. It's kind of foggy and I'm out of breath. <laughs> Walking on the beach is hard for me. I don't think Derek has moved more than about five feet and he's probably found nine million things. I have found a beer can, a screw, and a couple of pull tabs. So, I don't know if it's me or the detector. <laughs> or both. I've watched a number of videos, mostly from England. I haven't found too many U.S. videos on beach detecting with the simplex. Uh, so I don't know if I'm doing wrong or there's just nothing here or what. <laughs> I know I've pretty much made a decision now that I'm not, I dig Daytona, I'm not Vermont Derrick, and I'm not Robert Ferguson. So I think I'm going to stick to dirt fishing. 
I seem to have much better luck with that. Okay, we found Vermont Derek out here. He's suited up to go in the water. He's going to do some serious metal detecting out in the surf. So. I'm gonna try. <laughs> the, it's pretty sanded in, guys. It's, all the sand came in on the big hump. It's really hard hunting. Susie's got a little scoop, which is, she's not really prepared for the soft sand. Like, you've got to go pretty deep to get any targets at all. I mean, you could see me with the T-Rex, and I could barely catch up to some targets, so it's 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 pretty difficult hunting. There's, the white sand's gonna be fun to hunt today, though. That's where I'm heading next. Is it? Yep. I just thought I'd better catch. How long are you in town for? Um, I will be here through tomorrow, late afternoon, and then I've gotta go back to Georgia. Okay. So. I'll be up to Georgia to do some relic hunting. All right, we're gonna get Derek to come up to Georgia, and we'll show him show him around out in the woods and the and the cotton fields. Right. Well, I have moved up the beach a little ways. Uh, Mr. Derek was out in the water, so. I had a pretty solid signal here that looked like it might be a dime. So I'm gonna try and find it. I was right. One dime. We have another penny. Yeah. Well, it's Miller time, I guess. I'm not having a whole lot of luck on the beach, but at least I'm finding targets. Further down the beach, I wasn't even having that much luck. <laughs> and I found another dime. I'm coin shooting, I guess. I'm looking for the gold rings, but I'm not finding those. Still, we're finding something. But wait, there's more. Still another signal in that hole. I missed it. carrying way too much stuff with me and that's part of the problem right now. I'm trying to give you a live dig. Not finding my my target. I think I hear it this time. Yeah. There was one more penny in there, folks. That's not bad. We got some change. Maybe a foot or two from where I just dug the rest of that change. I just found a quarter. So we're on a roll here, folks. Susie finds change. It's all good. Same spot as the quarter. Found a 1976 copper penny. Okie dokie. Gonna go for this live. I think it's a quarter. Looky there, I was right. One quarter. We're doing okay now. Up oh, the beach sweeper's going by. He's my favorite guy right now because this beach was really sanded in and I'm working where he's been sweeping down through and I've been getting some decent hits now. 
He's turning some things up. And it looks like we have another one, so I'll just leave you all on. I've got the handle real short on this thing because it's having a hard time carrying. Oh, we got us a penny. Penny, 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 penny. Check the hole. All right, I think that one's done. Yeah, this one could be a penny or a dime. It's kind of in that strange range. Okay, it appears to be out. I know all you beach guys laugh at me, but I love my pinpointer. It just saves me a multitude of issues. Yep, nice shiny dime. 2010. Check my hole. See if anybody else is in there. Nope. You son of a biscuit.